Um, thank you for the welcoming introduction. Uh, that's really nice. Actually, some of you already know me and know that I love actually coding, you know, like human behavior in order to influence it for good. I could talk for hours how NLP helped me understand propaganda in China for hours and in America. But uh, t pardon, today uh, we're going to go very, very uh, in detail because I want to give you one tool, just one library, to help you from zero to one in order to solve some business problems with creating a dashboard. So I had some clients. Can you hear me? Can you understand my accent? Yeah, OK. So this library is called um, ThaiPy, and I thought that was a good, you know, like introduction for, you know, Thailand uh, Python. Um, this library helps you not only from just one page of code on VS Code, helps you create your pipeline, create different modeling, and then deploy it. So in one application, one library, you can cover the entire workflow from your research, your modeling, creating some scenario and then deploying it. And it's for free. I don't know if it's like a, a sponsored by the French government, but they are actually French and they are working with like companies all around the world with their like open source solution. So let's start together. And I want to give you like the entire workflow. So please, if it goes too slow or too fast, uh, just like do that and then I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll uh, update, okay? I'll advise. So let's start creating. I'm going to start from scratch so that it helps you take from zero to one. A little bit like I help you put the skis, and then once you have the skis, you go down the slopes and you enjoy it. OK? So let's go really in. And I'm wasting a bit of time there, but yeah. OK, let's start really from scratch. Wait, I can't see. Okay, let's create uh, an environment. PyCon. Okay. Yalla, let's do it. And then um, what we're going to do is that we're going to just install one library, and that's going to be it, right? OK. It's called TyPy. OK, in the meantime, potentially what I could do is show you as well the page, you know, like this is my GitHub library. It's called Pepet. Please don't judge me. And you have all the code. I put it there with the requirement. And it's just one, one page of code to create the application, the, the, the GUI, the modeling, and then deploy it directly on, uh, on, uh, on the web for free and host it for free. OK? That's the beauty um, of doing live demo. You can have time to showcase and then go for a cigarette and come back. Please stay with me. Maybe I show you the, the uh, GitHub in the meantime, so that if you want to follow it and then do it. What we're going to do today is indeed 
create a dashboard page with the GUI, manipulation of some sales data, which is you know, like not from one of my clients, but like usually that's what you have. You have some data from somewhere, you need to upload it, and then you know, like manipulate it and showcase it onto the app, uh, on, the, on the GUI, that's number one. And then we're going to add the prediction model, and then, we're gonna, and then it's going to be hosted for free you know, like, uh, on the Taipei Cloud. OK? Super. OK. So can you see it properly if I show you? Chuck, voila. Actually, that suits. Right. Up. We're going to create now, and I'm going to show you. Um, we're going to create just a simple page so that you see how the GUI can work, you know, like, and, and can get you up to speed from uh, scratch, right? We're going to create simple app, OK? So then again, we're going to import the library, right? Import GUI, right? GUI. Right. Then create a simple page. Say, hey, yeah, uh, the big crowd here. Yeah. Right. Up. And then launch it. And then I'm going to show you how it works because it's really easy. Page dot run. Use reloader call true. Uh, just uh, simple stuff. You you don't need to use the reloader, but if you want to, I, I'm going to use it because I'm going to change, you know, like the page. I'm going to change the model. So then uh, we're going to see it on uh, on live, right? Um, okay. Let me save it and let me launch it. And then you're going to see that already. Where is my page already? Up, up, up. If I launch it, right, it's launching it. Let me move that. And it's loading here with you know, like my title, right? So already what I'm saying to you is that we can use, you know, like many different applications. What I just wanted to introduce to you first and foremost is how to create applications that can be hosted for free. Here you have a GUI and you can host it and then that's it. Now we are going to create, you know, like an import the model so that it can be already adapted to any business model, any uh, situation that you have. I just wanted to give you something that is free that you can use, that you can actually make money of because any single information, you can create a website, you do user movie recommendation, like challenge IMDB, whichever you want, right? What we're going to do today is that we're going to use uh, some sales data from uh, Myanmar analyze them on a weekly basis on which one, you know, like, uh, works. Just showcase it. Very, very simple because we are running out of time. And then create a model that's going to predict, you know, like, on which, uh, uh, how, much more how much sales are going to be predicted each week of the day. OK? OK? Yeah! OK, yalla. Um, up, up, up. So what we're going to do is that we're going to modify the uh, GUI first, right? Again, the goal is just to put you like up to speed with this library so that you don't have to read the whole documentation, right? It's just for you, zero to one, and then you can do whatever you want with it. What we're going to do is that we're going to change it onto triple quote, OK? And then create, then, as we said, a sales dashboard. Right. OK. What I'm going to do is that I'm still going to use, you know, like a few HTML. Up, 
Okay. So that it looks nicer. Say, okay. And I'm gonna, like, it, each time you want to create an application or a web page, you want to design, you know, like how it is. So let's create it and let's create, you know, like, on the left side, something to filter, and on the, on the right side, you know, like something that's going to show it, right? Right? Allez, up. C'est parti. So, and that's why that's the very first part of this demo, is that I want to show you how to create the first web, web page, right? The GUI. Okay. So the first part is to open, you know, like the, the bracket. Let's create this layout of the two uh, different um, uh, parts of the page. Up, up. Okay, it's called the layout, and what we're going to do is that we're going to have two columns that are going to be 20% of the page and then 80% of the page. Okay? Voilà. Inside of it, so each time I open, you know, like this uh, bracket, I need to close it, right? So that's my first part. Columns equal my bad. Up, up, up. Okay, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create the sidebar now. Same uh, way of doing. Sidebar. Okay. Sidebar. Okay. Right. And then create a main part. Main. And then close it. Okay. I'm going to say something in it. I'm going to say that inside there's going to be the filters so that you see how it is. Filters. Okay. The point. And then here I'm going to say it's. the graphs and table. Okay? Yalla, save. And then, up, 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 I'm going to relaunch it. There. Okay? Up. Of course, I bugged. It's rolling, right? So now we have our sales dashboard, our first filters, and our table, OK? What we're going to do now is that we have the graph, right? We have the, not the graph, we have the page, OK? It took us what? Five minutes plus a few, you know, like uh, uh, high cups. What we're going to do is that now we're going to input what the data is going to be you know, like on our page, right? So again, just like I want to give you just like a few examples, and, and I want it to be very simple, but think about how you can apply it and create your own, you know, like even website. Eh? Um, and we're going to then import, you know, like some of the uh, data which I haven't imported inside. Icon. Okay. Where's my data? Okay, so my apologies. The uh, document is called Supermarket Sales. Let me open it on, uh, on Excel so that you see how it is. Right. Right, as you can see, so we have invoice ID, branch, city, customer type, gender, quantity, unit price, and all the different sales, okay? Very simple, huh? huh? Today is gonna be very simple. You can use it, you can download it, you know, like from, the, from GitHub. 
on my on my GitHub. No stress on that. Uh, up. So what we're going to do is that we're going to do on our page, we're going to import, you know, like the document, right? And import the whole data. So, okay, let's import Panda. Okay, as usual. Okay, and then uh, we are going to import it. Uh, it was called supermarket sales. Excel. Yep, and then I think it started on row three or something like that. Uh, let's try it, and then we'll see. Uh, three, yep, I think it is. Anyway, we're going to see how it goes, because what we're going to do is that we're going to now, now that we have the data, we're going to call it, you know, like we're going to uh, 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 run it. Uh, and we're going to... Uh, put it inside the main, right? Inside this, we're going to load the table. So again, we're going to use the same vocabulary, you know, like inside their, their page, and then we're going to open the bracket again, right? Call the sales table, right? Sales table, OK. Call it directly, you know, like uh, inside df. df, right? It's a table. Table. And then that's it. What we're going to say is that, indeed, it's going to be an expandable. That's something that we're going to do a little bit more. Talk, talk. Sales table. Right. OK. Expandable. Expandable. False. OK. Voilà. OK. Ta it's a table then. And then that's going to be OK. Let's refresh it. We're waiting for it. Ash, 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 I think. Yeah. Can you see the app now? There? And can you see that we have our table? Right? OK, yalla, that's done, right? Again, it should have taken us like uh, five minutes. Uh, it's now 10, but that's OK, right? OK, what we're going to now do is that we're going to tweak a little bit the data to create the graph, right? So that in now 15 minutes, we would have done, you know, like the first, you know, like a uh, uh, GUI, right? OK. We are going to, uh, you know what, for the sake of time, should I just like copy paste some of the pages? You know, like, are we going too fast? No. Are we going not enough fast? Yeah, right? Yeah, yalla. OK, so I'm going to copy paste, you know, like some of, the, some of the stuff that I've already done. If you want to dig further now, did you understand, you know, like the process? Well, I'm going to put more details on the, on the page, and then uh, we are going to do that. Um, so I am going to tweak my data in order to make it, you know, like on a weekly basis, you know, I, uh, okay, I, uh, I need to import calendar on for that, okay, c'est parti, okay, let me reorganize then the weekdays on a whole function. Yeah, actually. Okay. Yeah, and I'm gonna call indeed 
Yes. Days of week. Okay, c'est parti. So, in order for the function to be called, what I did is that I added now another column in order to showcase to it inside this df there, which I'm calling, you know, like my function, I still need to, up to, uh, to update it, okay? Did you understand the, the how it works between, you know, like the code and then the GUI, right? Yeah? Yeah? No. Ouais, oh là, dis donc, ça gesticule, tout là. Okay. Um, now, what we're going to do is that, now that we have recognized the weekdays, we're going to create uh, the graph, right? Um, let me call as well here the weekdays. Let me uh, then make it a little bit more clean, because I don't like when it's not clean. Uh, Okay. Uh, okay. Voilà, I'm going to call the F. Okay, voilà. Allez, hop. Now that's clean. Oui. Page. So reloader equal true. Okay, super. Okay, let's refresh. Uh, check, check, check. Ah, bah oui. Ah, bah oui. Ah, yeah, voilà. Okay, so now we still have our page, right? And we are going, uh, what did we say? Uh, we are going to see the sale. We're going to watch the sales, you know, like by weekdays, right? So we're going to create, you know, like um, uh, a whole function to group those sales by weekdays. Uh, you know, it's a simple group by. Uh, let's uh, load it over there. Up, even there. Doesn't matter. Okay, and I'm gonna load it there. Sales by weekday. Okay, and then I'm gonna create another graph in there, just below the table. Right, just there. Right, save it. Oui? It should be use reloader, yeah? This is just perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is just perfect. Thank you so much for following and uh, correcting me. And let me relaunch it because it bugged, it just dropped because of, uh, of the mistake you spotted, yeah. Okay, super. I need to move that over there. Okay, uh, and I need to use, yes, sales by weekday, sales by weekday. Okay, super. Okay, magnifique. Okay, what we're going to do now is that now that we have our sales, we're going to filter it, right? We're going to filter it on the left side of the page, and we're going to create, you know, like those filters. Um, so on the left side of the page, we are going to create some filters, okay, such as uh, city, for example, by city, and by, uh, which one did we say, by uh, also by um, uh, customer segmentation, actually we don't really, it doesn't really matter, 
which one. Just let's say by city, that's going to be easy. Up, up, up. Up. Super. And let's now initialize it first. So create. This one is wrong. Let me change the whole one there. Yeah, yeah. We're going to call it, it's city. City. Up, up, up. Okay. So now that we have like uh, this like unique that's going to filter inside you know like our uh, database for the cities, we're going to create you know like the filter inside. Uh, let me copy paste it. It's the exact same uh, vocabulary that we have for any graph. What we're going to do is that we're going to create. We're going to call cities. I have okay cities. Is that almost the end? I haven't shown you any prediction. I haven't shown you anything. Um, OK, so I have two minutes left. Uh, what I'm going to do is that <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you the, uh, the app directly, and you're going to see you know, like how it looks like. What we created is indeed you know, like calling you know, like the, the data frame. Then we create you know, like the prediction, but that's going to be the last part. We create the page by calling, you know, like all the cities, all the all the different, you know, like um, uh, filters. On the page, we have the filters here, right? We have our main page that's going to have sales and the graph there of the sales by by weekday. And then what I added is the prediction for it on it, so that you can see, you know, like how it is. And then, um, okay, you know what I'm going to do is that. I'm going to copy all of it, yeah, and show you how then let me import uh, learn. So that I show you uh, how it looks like, because the otherwise that would be shame. It's just installing uh, Scikit-Learn for the prediction part. I try to detail everything, so that I show you that yeah, you can you can like build from scratch something like out of you know like what you have. Okay, let me res restart the application. And then I show you how it looks like. And again, I'm really sorry that it went like, like so long, you know, like in like going uh, line by line, yeah. Uh, when I do it at home, I put a lot of music, so I don't realize how long it is, you know. Even though I put electronic music, I, I, it doesn't like speed up the things. Um, It's just loading. Yeah. 
Yeah, so what we had is that we have all the three cities in Myanmar that we have, whether the customer is a member or not. And then what we can click on is the prediction, so it split, spits out the, the prediction. Okay? And that's it for me today. Again, if that can help you start it, that's it. Thank you. <laughs>